get me out of the shot? Hi, my name is Mickey. I'm Phil. All right, so the top, um, this is where the power head sits. It's on the, uh, I guess, leg, you'd call it. I'm using a uh, OMC gasket adhesive. Um, Stop hitting me. It's important. Me Stop making I'm talking. Um, it's important whenever you replace the uh, power head back on the uh, on the uh, exhaust leg that you buy a new gasket. Uh, they are available from OMC. Um, I bought this one the other day at the dealership. This particular motor is a 55. 54 is the same. 56 is the same, from what I know. And what we're going to do right now is place the gasket on top and should be good to go. I'm going to let this adhere. There's the gasket done. Don't try and reuse the old gasket. So you can cut and we're going to put the lower unit in now. Okay? Okay, cut. Go. Hi, I'm so that's how the lower unit would normally come out. You look up inside the lower unit, there's a water tube right there. It's a copper water tube I'm pointing at. It. That copper water tube slides into your water pump. And you gotta align your shifter on. There's a hole Stop up in the leg, Nikki. I'm camera. talking. You're not a very good cameraman. Cameramen don't talk whenever they're getting filming stuff. Okay. There. So there you go. Lower unit's in. And it's just a matter of installing the four bolts and tightening everything back up. Um, your body is in the way. That's okay, you can shut it off because I'm going to bolt this up now. Stored. Hi, I'm Nikki King. Okay, so down inside, come closer Nikki. On these seven and a half and 5.5s, this is the, uh, the dry shaft that comes out of the motor. Right here, that's the shaft that we replaced. They use a spring assembly. Um, it's a pressure spring, I guess. It keeps water from getting into the power head. Now, I've been uh, told it's very important to replace a couple units, uh, pieces of the unit. There's a rubber O-ring in here. This is, um, this is a carbon washer, they call it. I've replaced the O-ring in there. The other part they tell you to replace is this top seal. Now, I haven't replaced it. I'm going to glue it back on here. Um, I'm going to try and find one. Now I'm going to bolt the power head down if I have to replace the gasket, whatever. I just want to do it as a test. So basically what happens is, is this, uh, this first washer goes down on the top. There's a roll pin that sits through that shaft. So you catch that washer, then your spring, then your carbon assembly that goes over top. Now that didn't really work because my o-ring just popped off. Let's see if we can do this again with any kind of luck. Come closer. Okay, you good? Yep. Alright, so up on top here. Now, when I got this motor, remember I said the detents wouldn't shift? Now we've got a positive. Now I can actually feel it shifting. See how it's hard to shift? That never happened when I got the motor. It was just flopping back and forth. So that indicates to me that we've, we're at least doing something right. Up here is, uh, before I put the power head on, there's a... Uh, Two, uh, two nuts up here. Uh, one nut's got a star washer underneath to keep it from coming undone. Uh, I've now put those back on and I can now shift my my motor the way it should shift. And we're going to bolt the power head up. Back up a bit. Cut. Now let's put the motor on. <laughs> oh, mean power head. Now, the power head probably won't drop on right the first time because it's uh, not lined up. So what we need to do is shift it into a gear and we'll rotate. We'll try and rotate without the... Uh... <sighs> there. She sat down. Something piling up here. Water in the power head. It's a horizon and hurrying to wake up and oh, Now our gasket's moved. That's not a good sign. That's a really bad. Yeah. Sorry, I'll have to back off. 
guess it makes sense to test fit these things before they go back on. So we'll try again. Now these motors aren't that heavy, so me lifting the power head back on is not a big deal. Oh, I see the problem. This is actually hitting. What a silly design. I wonder if that's going to cause us some problems. Okay, we're going to have to modify that gasket. Cut it. Yeah. Action. So I guess the trick is, there we go. So that gasket's just wide enough for us to get the uh, power head down on top. Which we've now done. So now it's just a matter of screwing in. There's seven power head screws that sit underneath here. Once those screws are in, our power head will be bolted up. And it's just a matter of putting that exhaust housing back on. And essentially this motor will be ready to fire up. So we don't have to watch me do all this Nicky can cut. Bye everyone! Doo -dee -doo, doo -dee -doo. Action! Yeah, so now the power head's bolted up. We've got the exhaust housing at the back, bolted lower units on. Now with these older motors, the only way to get that lower unit off, like I explained, you got to pull the power head and you got to undo that shift linkage. And unfortunately, that's the way it is, the newer motors. You just have to uh, undo your undo your um, lower leg bolts and the leg will drop and all you do is unbolt your shift linkage. But on these, the shift linkage was a solid linkage that went right into uh, the shifter under the power head. So the only way you're going to get on these seven and a halfs and five and a halfs, the only way you're going to get this lower unit off 